The thief must have taken the bucket, turned it upside down and used it to stand on. It was Miss Scarlet in the library with the lead piping. I said no interview. And I said I didn't give up that easily. Come on, it'll make a great story. Half moon's total eclipse. One boy's fight to clean up our school. Oh, right. Great. So, what made you want to become a detective? I was talking about the fingerprints. Left by the thief. Do you ever stop asking questions? What kind of powder is that? Obviously not. Aluminium. Works best in plastics. Where do you learn all this stuff? I've been in training for the past two years. Just got my badge. Aren't you a bit young to be a qualified detective? I might have been a wee bit creative about my age. I think I'd make a pretty good detective. Figured out who stole my laptop without any of your fancy toys. When was it stolen? Two weeks ago in the playground. I used it for putting the paper together. Red Sharky stole it while I was interviewing. You saw him? No, but he was standing near me. And he's got form. That's your evidence. It's not exactly watertight. Let's see you do any better. Find my laptop and I'll leave you alone. Sorry, I can only do one case at a time. Much as I hated turning down work, I had to find whose fingerprints matched those in the bucket. Red was used to being in and out of Quinn's office like a yo-yo. Out of the way, freak. But I hadn't seen him this angry since Herod accidentally tagged his locker. I had to get fingerprints from all the art club members, which wasn't going to be easy with Operation Crackdown in full swing. None of the prints matched the set I'd lifted from the orange bucket, which ruled out the art club suspects. I was stumped. Why would anyone else steal a worthless painting? Unless it wasn't worthless. The frame. They stole the painting for the frame. Yes! Then you are a genius! Freak. My older sister, Hazel. Mom, Dad, Fletcher's talking to himself again. Hazel, shh! My genius and my dance skills were lost on her. Everything all right, son? Never better. Don't you think you're taking this detective hobby a bit too far? Oh, um, please don't touch those. You should be out playing football, making friends. Don't worry about me. I don't need friends. I'm fine. That is a matter of opinion. I tried my theory out in Dean the next day. Wait, you think someone nicked it for the frame? It's a theory. The wrong one? It's more likely they stole it because they appreciate my art. Poor guy. The theft's clearly dented his confidence. So, what now? We work for the usual suspects. People with a history of property theft. Like Red Sharky. <laughs> Are you following me? Just doing my job? Red Sharky stole school laptop and your painting. <laughs> Hang on. Plus I heard he took an MP3 player yesterday. There is such a thing as evidence, you know. You got those fingerprints off that bucket? Go do your thing. See if they match reds. Getting fingerprints from the art club was one thing. I've got a new pupil for you, Mr Fitz. Red Sharky was a whole different ballgame. <clears throat> red Sharky will be joining this class what? from now on. Yes. I'm sure you'll all make him very well. So that's why Red was so upset yesterday. Quinn was sending him back a year. There's one here. Come and see me after school, Red. I'll talk you to a new timetable. <laughs> There was a method to my madness. <laughs> want to borrow a pen? Ruler? Want to borrow a ruler? Freak. Water? I don't want your water, your pen or your ruler. So just leave me alone. Double result. I had read Sharky's fingerprints and I'd lived to tell the tale. Luck was definitely on my side. Make yourself at home. 
If I just step back in time. This is the 21st century, right? I had to go old school since my laptop was net. Mia had given me the run of the newspaper office. An uncluttered, uncontaminated forensic lab would have been my first choice. But beggars can't be choosers. You sure that's reds? I wiped my prints off the bottle before I gave it to him. These are the ones I got from the orange bucket. I've got a match. Look at that radial loop. Red Sharky stole the painting. This proves it. Right. So, what do we do now? We cross our fingers and hope he's still got the stolen goods. Right, and where's the most likely place that Red had put them? In the lion's den. What are you doing? Writing your obituary. Everyone knew where the Sharkies lived, but no one wanted to visit. Hello? Anybody home? Sharky? No one was home. My heart was pounding like a drum in a tumble dryer. But this opportunity was too good to miss. Red's room must be upstairs. <laughs> the pit bull looks like Herod. Must be his room. Radioactive certainly sums up Genie. Red Devil, that's our boy. Any markings on it? Uh, it had some kind of bird on it. And that's how I ended up under Red Sharky's bed. There was no sign of the laptop, but there was something else under there. I knew straight away it was the stolen picture frame. The bad news for Dean was that the painting had already been dumped. It was time for a quick exit. Next time you go to the toilet, replace the wall. Just robbing my own house, eh? Well, you picked the wrong one today, lad. You're not about breaking in any more homes when I'm finished with you. Hey, what are you doing with that? Returning it to its rightful owner. <laughs> I'm its rightful owner. You stole it from the art club. Nice work, Red. Looks expensive. Do you know this kid? And is he right? Did you take it? No. See? Price tag. This was supposed to be for that picture of Mum. But your fingerprints were all over the crime scene. My fingerprints? Which one are you? Sasuke or Hutch? <laughs> Detective Moon, actually. Oh, I get it. Something's nicked and my name's top of the list. You can't talk your way out of proof. 